In this video we are talking about how to keep the spark in a relationship. And some tips how to show love and affection. Ahoy fighters! And welcome to another relationship talk video with Simi and Danny. In this series we are talking about any kind of relationship problems or questions coming from you. Exactly, and except of this kind of videos we are also doing vlogs, travel vlogs, challenges, live streams and a lot of more. So consider to subscribe and ring the little bell. So the idea for this video came again from you guys and this time we asked you on Instagram what would you like us to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say the uh, response was really good this time. Yeah. We got a lot of good topics, I have to say. Yeah, but we also got like three or four or five kind of same requests. Yeah, they were all around this topic which we have today. Like how to keep the spark yeah. in a relationship. Also if the relationship is already longer, longer going. And, and how so. to keep the romance and yeah, what to do that the spark is not going away. And I think a lot of you guys also want exact tips and tricks and exact ideas what to do and we will definitely do that. And if you want to skip the thing before <laughs> where we are just talking <laughs> in general, then go on this time where we are starting to talk about exact tips. So here's the timestamp, go over there, But we will tell you there <laughs> what we are doing to keep the spark. Yeah, but of course if you want to know in general what we think it's very important to keep the spark, then just continue watching. I think people are often expecting that you will have forever in a relationship if it's the perfect partner, if it's your soulmate, then you have to have forever butterflies in your belly. And I think personally, this is not what is going to happen with no one. No, and it's also <laughs> not normal. Keeping the spark in the relationship doesn't mean that you have to do a huge, lot of things. Huge gestures all the time. Huge things, exactly. You yeah. don't have to always uh, throw flowers around yeah. if you realize that that what you have is already super cool and your partner also can realize and understand yeah. that you know what else do you want i for example personally don't really like the beginning of the relationship for it's me also nice. for me personally I, it's my opinion yeah. for me personally it's too much stress I don't like the unknown. I don't like the stress like what <laughs> do you stress. think? What do you think? What I say if I say something right? I really love to have a relationship where I already know you inside out, like I just know everything. And so it's more comfy and more it's normal. It's more comfy, but also like I I still love to show my love to you. Mm -hmm. But I don't like this. Somebody think the spark is like this stress, I think, actually. <laughs> I, I, often, I mean, basically, stress, that's the butterflies, the stress in the belly. Yeah. That's, that's it, actually, because you don't know what is going to happen. It's a new situation, it's a little bit stressy, but it's also, of course, nice, you know? And that yeah. is something what you cannot keep doing over 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 30. But there are still certain things you can do to make it better. To start off this topic, I would say one of the most important things to keep the spark in a relationship is of course to stay interested in your partner. In and his life or her life. Exactly. It sounds so basic and normal and everything, but... But you have to mention it. You really have to mention it. Yeah, because a lot of people, they just fall into some kind of normality they are just used to each other they are sitting next to each other they are not communicating communication is always the top key we tell yeah. it to you everything every in the video <laughs> um, it is about communication but it's also about it to be genuinely interested into Definitely. your partner like, oh you always ask me how was it on horses or i'm just like calling you randomly from horses like something amazing happened and you know nothing about it what i'm talking about but you're just like yeah yeah i'm happy for you <laughs> and that's actually the only thing i need to hear is just like show interest and be like genuine you should be interested even though you are maybe not interested and this is a paradox in it a little yeah. bit because i'm not a horse person for example but i'm interested 
how Simi feels and I'm interested how happy she is. So I listen to her horror stories, I listen yeah. to that kind of things because I see her eyes smiling. Okay, next thing for me, the most important thing to keep this park is to show the appreciation. And I mean it <laughs> in a way like nothing is matter of course, nothing is never certain in relationship. And that's like really very often happening. Uh, I don't know if it's also a cultural thing here in Slovakia. I don't want to be mean, but maybe a little bit. After longer time being with the partner, or even like if you are married already for years... I'm curious what's coming there now. There are certain partner roles that are very stereotypical or gender roles, let's say. But, but that's how it is, right? A girl should, should be in the kitchen and the guy brings the money. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> I'm that, just joking. But you should, you should not take it for certain. And that's really like super important because the woman is working her ass off, let's say, or the guy, and she feels no appreciation. There is no thank you, there is no I love you, there is no nothing for it because it should be like that and it's normal like that. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. nothing should be like nothing. And that also means, of course, that the person who is maybe completely fine with the stereotypes and also likes to cook maybe, but you know, is not getting the appreciation for it, yeah. doesn't do it for or it with love, you know? Yeah, it's and like it doesn't anymore, have fun of it anymore. Yeah, it's anymore like not happening out of love and yeah. it can even change the whole way how you look at it. And then you just see it like chores and then you just have nerves and you know You have a bad feeling with it in a yeah. way that oh now I have to do this and this again and then the guy or the guy says oh I'm going I'm the only one who is going to work and we have here everything just because of me and you know yeah. it's like it's like going on stairs and it's it's getting more and more and more and more so you have to really talk about it and give each other the feeling to be appreciated for that what you are doing and I also think it can also completely change the whole atmosphere if you once just surprise your woman with thanking her for cleaning the flat, let's mm. say. It's really not like it should go without saying that she do it every day. And maybe she would even then do it more and more often and with love because she would see that you appreciate her. Next! One more point what I think is also very important is that sometimes the spark you're missing or things you're missing are also just coming from this normality what I was talking about before. So it would be maybe nice if you just sometimes just stop whatever you're doing, sit there, think about it what you actually have because you have a relationship. Yeah. Not everyone can find love, a partner and maybe have even a family, a wife, you know. Yeah. It's a, a really nice Stop thing. and realize. I actually have to say that's really something I do very often. Like. I very often just in normal situations like stop and go a little bit like away, like out of my body, body a little bit, like out of the situation and I just realize like wow this is really nice, like what everything I have or like when we cuddle and watch a movie and sometimes like oh this is like the most, like yeah. what more I want and, and also you, you cannot just think it, you also have to say it. At least to your partner sometimes, yeah. Yeah, because your partner cannot read your mind. And mm -hmm. of course you can think it and it's perfect for you, but then I also turn to you and I say, wow, this is really amazing and I love you so much. And I just say it like out of blue and that is what that is the romantic thing, that is the spark that you just like in the middle of normal things and in the middle of normal life just shoot in with some nice word or gesture or some little romantic thing and that is happening when you stop and realize. Do you think we have the basics covered? I think we have kind of the basics <laughs> covered except of one thing maybe. What? Because appreciation and affection and interest is also of course uh, in the intimacy area very oh. important that maybe some guys or girls are missing the spark in the bed. Or... Yeah, but I also have to say that can be also a magic circle. Like mm. these things you can miss, but mm. these things like intimacy and so will be better with the other things you repair in your relationship. Yeah, it's yeah. like a circle, you yeah. know? So if it was in the beginning working and now it's somehow not anymore, 
then it is possible to repair it and mm. find this spark again. But maybe you have to do it with that other little things. I have one more thing we have to add maybe now. What? Maybe um, some people also let themselves go. <gasps> like taking care of your appearance and so? Of course. Oh yeah. Because I can understand it that you maybe have a stressy situation. Things can change in your life. I mean, all of us, yeah. we are, everyone is changing all the time. It's also normal you're getting older or something can happen exactly. uh, health-wise or so. But, but you can take care of yourself. You should take care At of yourself. At least can try. I mean, That's super important. I forgot about that, actually. It just came into my mind because we were talking about this uh, wanting each other again. Yeah. But sometimes it's also about it because the person is not taking care of Yeah, you just say like, anymore. now I'm married, so now I don't have to. It's just about it that you also have to think about that your partner has to find you still attractive. Attractive, yeah. You know? Yeah, but it doesn't mean that sometimes <laughs> I also look at home like <laughs> just sitting yeah. on the couch. <laughs> I, also, I also just want to say it is also not normal to look always your best. Like and, every day I with mean, makeup and everything. We see each other also in every kind of situation, yeah. but still there is still this 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 level of taking care of yourself, you know. Yeah. So that I think is very important still. Yeah. And now. And with that. We can come. We can jump. <laughs> Finally. Finally. <laughs> to the things we are doing. Okay. To so. keep the spark. Um, I, I just want to say very normal things. Again, it doesn't have to be a big thing. Always when we are walking outside, we are holding hands. We are telling us out of the nothing. Sometimes I love you. Uh, stroking each other, you know, we are watching a movie, we are cuddling already, and it's already nice. This is already one thing. Very often, when I'm cooking, you just come and you slap me on the ass. Or that, but <laughs> you know, you can just like, also, even if you're doing already like this cuddling thing, you can still sometimes like, hmm, and then you give a little smooch on the, on the forehead or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Not just like that, like, like a little. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> Riding in the middle of the day in the work, I miss you or something, we do that. Just like a short message or I think about you or I love you just like out of nowhere. And because we are interested into each other's worlds, let's say, <laughs> well, we are also like, you know, if you know that uh, Simi has a hard day at work, then I'm writing you, hey, I'm thinking of you, I hope everything is good. Things like this. I actually have to say we are really long together already but i think every single day at least once in the work we write each other like something um, small. at least once like at least like i love you or something the only actually we are writing all the time i have to say but yeah. often it's like that that simi is also just like that she's sending a video how the snow is falling i mean i'm living in the same city it's exactly <laughs> the same weather <laughs> on my place <laughs> it was today that's why i came into my mind now I mean, it's exact the same weather because I'm one kilometer away or two, maybe. So, and then she's like, it's snowing! And then she's filming how it's snowing and I'm like, oh, here too. <laughs> but it's cute. And it shows somehow like, hey! I'm thinking of you. It shows, You're thinking, yeah. It shows I'm thinking of you. Thinking of me. I think that I often do, or that I hope so that you realize it. Like, for example, I see that you don't feel so good, I directly like make you tea, or... That's what Sheldon says, if someone is sad, you have to make them a hot, hot beverage. beverage. <laughs> or, <laughs> or like, I don't know, you have a back pain, I make you like massage, even if I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying. <laughs> or, like, little I, things. It can be even so little things, like you, you are just thinking about it for yourself, for example, also just, oh, I would like to have a chocolate or a, or a cookie or something. Yeah. But then you don't just go, eat a, go and take yourself a cookie and eat it. You take one more and you just put it into your partner's mouth. <laughs> yeah, and it's, like, it's so random and it can, like be, it can be in the middle of, like, something like I'm working on the computer and suddenly he's just coming from the back and like giving me something and then it's like 
It's so cute. It, I don't know. Or you make a little heart shape, or you just peel a, a orange and you bring it. And you it. I often bring you to the work like a little bread with like pap paprika in a hard cut. Yes. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> Things like that. I think he's doing it way more often than me. I have to say because, because it makes me happy to make you happy. Make a date night and. It doesn't have to be special late night. It doesn't have to be like you go to a fancy restaurant or. But something. can be as well. Can be sometimes, but it doesn't have to be. It can be also at home. It should be just like a little bit different, like normal, with both partners being hundred percent present for each other. I mean, you can basically also just pour yourself a nice uh, hot. Uh, bathtub, you just lie there <laughs> together the <laughs> and and just yeah. uh, talk about the day or whatever. Hey, you know, so, so spend a little bit time yeah. with each other. Or sometimes we also do like these cheat days, we call it. We just like go on the next petrol station, we buy three packages of chips and cookies and anything what we find there. Yeah, and, then and then we, we watch just a movie watch a something. movie underneath a big blanket and it's like, you know, just like be present for each other like a little bit more and really appreciate like this special uh, uh, dates uh. let's say and what is also important is to to always make new memories you can go into if you have a forest for example go into the forest for a walk do things or yeah. look what is around you is there something like we have a lot of castles in this country here somehow yeah. so sometimes we go for a castle and look or like we try some new random thing together like i don't yeah, know exactly. we try some sport or once we went to climbing bouldering we like just randomly <laughs> Yeah, for example. We never did it again, but you know, just make some kind of memories. Yeah. Can be whatever. Just something else what you are normally not doing, what you can remember later, yeah. what you can even talk about, laugh about, even if it was super bad in the end, you can still talk and laugh about it. Yeah. Sometimes maybe a little uh, giving each other something, like thinking little of gifts. another person. It can be yeah. a gift, for example. Or it can be also small things. I don't want that this is misunderstood, like that you are a golden girl or something, that you need mm. to always like get some gifts and so. Okay. Gifts doesn't have to be always expensive things. It can be also little things. It can be also just like, as you said, I'm in the work and I was thinking of you and there are chocolates on the table and I take one more to the pocket and I give it to my wife at home. Or like, mm -hmm. I walk from the market home and there is a flower growing and I just pick it for her. Or like, it can be um. completely priceless things. It can be like also sometimes, of course, bought gifts. But a lot of people understand love also through gifts. To remind the other person that you think of him that you like him and love him. Whatever is coming to your mind while you listen to us or if it's like something else coming then please write it into the comments, write us on Instagram, email, Facebook, PO Box, whatever you want because we really would like to again open the conversation about this. Absolutely. So if we forgot anything, if you have another opinion or if you think we missed something then write us, write us, write us. Okay guys, thank you so 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 much for watching. Thank you for your time. Um, we love you. See, now we show you appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to support us and everything what we are doing, then give us a like right now here in the Definitely bottom. check our little forum and also check our Patreon site where we have already our amazing patrons that we especially thank. Rado! Vlad! Aya! Tobias! Tom! And Robert! Thank you guys! Thank you so much for your support! Yeah. If you want to support us, come there as well! Stay healthy, stay safe, and we love you, and ahoy! Take care guys, ahoy! Mm -hmm. Thanks so much! <laughs>